let's just show where the pass is. So this is the pass to the Valley of Mines. You have to talk with the guys here. To go in there. If there's a way into the valley, good. Then... Now you can enter here only if you joined another a guild. So mercenaries, novices, or the militia. And you will talk to Lord Dagen and uh, explain him a few things. He will ask you to find proofs of what you are saying, and you will go to the Valley of Valley of Mines from here. You can just open the door. Oops. And then you can go on the left to find the way to the Valley of Mines. This is the way now that we are we are taking to the colony. There are a few wolves on the way, but nothing difficult. Very easy to, to take them. Now, of course, there are two ways. You can go the easy way on the left, or you can go on the left means inside here, or you can go the hard way, which is here. Great, but uh, yeah, there are a few walls, but going forward is full of, uh, of uh, orcs. So you don't really want to do that. You will probably not survive that. Uh, there are already two of them or only one? Uh, only one. We can take on this one. It's uh, just some experience points. You can fight orcs like this. So just dodge them. Move uh, on a side like this. So strafing. Just try not to get a direct hit because otherwise a small mistake can cost you your life here. So eventually you can just go back to parry if you need. There should be one last blow. Oops, I risked. Uh, yeah, exactly. I just, <laughs> I just, it was close. I risked there. That was dangerous. Okay. And yeah, I just wanted to show you how to fight the orcs so you know how to deal with them eventually. And you can get some experience points. Now just a few giant rats here. And then we can go to the Valley of Mines. We are very close there. Hello guys, how are you doing? Now... I think we have a few more wolves uh, after the bridge here. We have a few things to collect. Hello Jesse, good morning. Oh yeah, goblins. What are they doing there? Perfect. Nothing there. Nothing, Nothing there. To plunder. Oops, I can't write. All right, we got a gold ring. Ring of spirit. We also have the will of the wisp, by the way. Oh wait, the clams, we can open them. Pearl, okay. Nothing there. It would be nice to find a black pearl because they are very valuable. Fine, and now we just collect a few things here and we proceed to the valley, the colony. Few more wolves. One, two, three, and four. I promise no walls were armed during this gameplay.
Okay, and we are here. This is the way to the Valley of Mines. Let me save. Maybe the right pass with one S. All right. And we will load the new map here. And here we are. We are now at the Valley of Mines. And if you have played Gothic 1, you should know how the Valley of Mines look. So if you go here on the right, there are orcs, so you don't want to go there. You can go up here. Uh, let me see if I have a light scroll. I mean, could change the time with, if you want, you can do set F, press F2 after you enable the Marvin mode, press F2, set time like 8, for example, and press enter. But yeah. If you don't want to lose the immersion, so to speak, just leave it like it is. That's the nice thing about Gothic, it's really immersive in, in most of the cases. Okay. Then we could eventually climb up, not that there is much to do, or at least unless the Golder Master mod puts something there, there should be nothing. Let's just collect a few things here. And well, remember there is also a remake of Gothic 1 in the making, so should be come out in 2024, hopefully. Okay, and here you will go your way to the castle. So this was how to reach the Valley of Mines. I hope this was useful. If you didn't know how to do that. Now I'm doing this just for YouTube, of course, but you can find other tutorials in my channel and also join the group on Facebook. It's called Gothic Remake. You will find it easily. So if this was useful to you, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.